there. And he he goes like that, trying to butt in my interview. But yeah, he's looking, he's looking great out there, making plays. And uh, I feel like he's going to be real good for it this year at that medium, make a little safety spot for us. How, what, can y'all do just like a bunch of crazy stuff in that, in that package? Did you got a little bit more DBs to, to move around? Yeah, we can, especially uh, well, even our backups. I mean, we know the whole defense. I feel comfortable if Jalen's Geiger's out there, Todd Dodson, Ricky Hyatt. Jordan, you know, Moses out there. I mean, I feel like we really know the playbook and we can switch guys around, just not one guy staying at free or one guy staying at strong. I mean, if we really wanted to, especially with the ones, you know, you may see me at nickel one play, you may see D-Rob at free and Ty at strong, and we may just rotate it. So I just feel very confident in our knowledge in the playbook and, and for this upcoming season. You said you all have so much veteran depth in the second. How do you keep those young guys motivated? Uh, one reason, uh, one thing how we keep everybody motivated is we have this uh, chart that Coach Collins came up with and it has like effort, MAs and stuff. So we keep we keep uh, tabs of it. So it's kind of keep us motivated. And we have two teams. So whichever team has the most points at the end, uh, probably get a reward or something sort of, I don't know. But it's really just to have the clout, really. So uh, that's how we're going to keep ourselves motivated, you know, especially during this camp. When we get today, you know, 12, 13, 14, keep us motivated. Say it again. Any of those young guys All of them, really. I mean, Ricky with just him being consistent this year, Moses with his checks, uh, Jordan coming along as a young guy, uh, Todd and Jalen just being more consistent and kind of want to take over that role as when I know as everybody in the secondary seniors this year, we, when we leave, they can kind of take over for us and we won't have any uh, setback. Is it like going against Coach Cohen? Say it again. What's it like going against Coach Cohen? Against that oh, your eyes better be right. You know, no looking in the backfield. Don't have your eyes wandering anywhere else. You got to be very per, uh, perfectional on your craft and just have your eyes right and you don't know what to expect. I mean, one player might be Ryan. They might line up, line up in the same formation and next thing you know, it's a play action pass. So you just got to watch out for the deep shots and make sure you're just real keen on your detail and your craft. A lot more. A lot more. Has <laughs> uh, any of you guys like, just woke up? Anybody on the offense yet? It just like woke up. Catch them on, you know, coming across the middle. Get more. Uh, actually, I hit my own teammate Jared one time. I didn't really mean to, but <laughs> but as far as practice, I try to keep it clean. I don't want to get nobody hurt, so I try to just stay up for most of the part. Is it different on Saturday when you go on scrimmage, y'all? Oh yeah, it's different. Saturday scrimmage. When they say it's time to hit somebody to the ground, it's time to it's time to hit. So I'm ready for it. Any of those offensive guys been kind of like a big headache for you guys so far? Uh, I feel like they're all really doing a good job, especially the receivers are uh, getting open and knowing what to do and, and how to line up and things like that. But I feel like everybody in the offense is doing a good job. Coach Collins was bragging about your speed. Are you guys faster this year, and are you going to be able to keep up with those guys on the offense? I feel like we are. I feel like we did a good job, especially with Coach Ed in a, a weight room with speed and conditioning. And we all kind of challenge each other whenever we run on the hill over there or running in the indoor, just, just trying to see who, who could uh, have the fastest time or who's going to beat who. So that goes with all of conditioning, right? Mm -hmm. Stoops is really building up the conditioning program, strength and conditioning coaches. Uh, how have they played into to how much better you're going to be this year? Oh, a lot better. I feel like I'll be less tired this year, especially with teams trying to go hurry up on us. And, and as far as physicality, getting off blocks will be a lot easier for me this year as far as the job that we did in the uh, weight room this year. Who has the uh, speed crown right now on the defensive side of the ball? I think I have the speed crown right now. <laughs> I don't know Chris talking about he's the fastest on the team. No, Chris, Chris, no, Chris is slow. I'm sorry. <laughs> if y'all want to, me and Chris go out here and line up and race. I, trust me, I would be Chris. But probably the fastest on the team, I'd say probably me. You know, Wondell's fast, Tay Tay. Tay Tay's pretty fast. Uh, I want to say, uh, who else is D Rob's getting his speed back. Really, anybody in the secondary, anybody in the secondary, they got some speed. Quandre, mm, 